The Drip Network, how are we doing? How's the health and how are all you doing? This is more of a check-in to see if everyone's doing all right because I know that the performance of the token price of Drip has not been great this past couple weeks and we have been on a steady decline since our all-time high. We did see a couple months of stability, which was fantastic to see, but since the launch of the Animal Farm, we have seen lower lows than even I expected, than I think anyone expected, okay? We did break into $2 earlier in the week. So as I said, this is more of an emotional check-in video to make sure that all you drippers are fine. Um, and to tell you that I'm perfectly fine with what's going on. We are still seeing lower lows in the drip price, which is worrying, I know. We're currently fighting for that $3 spot. Looks like we might be losing it today because there is a lot of sell pressure still going on with uh, drip token holders and faucet users. To be expected, we just had a massive crypto crash. People want to take some profit from somewhere. And of course, the, the best place to take profit is the one that pays you the most, which would be the drip network. But you should be reconsidering that and possibly thinking also about compounding. Compounding is also a very important part of earning money later when the price will be higher. I still think the drip price will eventually recover and go up, um, but it might be a while. I think the first aim should be recovering the $5 spot, then recovering the $10 spot, then trying to get ourselves a little bit more balance to continue into the future. Now to do that, you, you can look at many drippers, people in the drip network who are doing exactly this to try and make sure that drip does recover. Myself, I make YouTube videos about drip. I even made a passive income DAP for drip users, which they can deposit BUSD in. And by joining my drip team three, the fees going into this, some of the fee, 3% of the fee is taken, it buys drip up off the market, then it airdrops it into my teammates' wallets, not my wallet, I don't take anything from it. This encourages not only people to use my dApp, right, for some fun, but also it buys drip, which then will add buy pressure to drip. Right, this is how I helped. Of course, I make videos promoting drip and educating people about how to use it responsibly and hopefully not get wrecked. We should be making money. That's the whole aim. We have the drip five dot app, which is a cool app where you can connect your wallet into it and it will show you a calculator. It will show your dashboard for your drip balance and give you lots of stats you can find out about. We have ourselves a drip wiki. Wiki Drip. Did you know Drip has its own wiki page? This covers the Drip community, the Animal Farm, which is a um, part of the Drip ecosystem. You can check out on live charts of everything, and it's translated into 120 languages or something. Insane. I'm actually helping to translate it right now into the Chinese language. And you just you come here, come to, for example, the faucet, then you would be able to read about the faucet, how it works, and understand everything fully right so that you can make the right decision for you if you want to invest or not, or when you want to compound, when you, when you want to sell. We also have the brilliant Drip Formulate, which was made by James. This is another dripper who's adding utility to the Drip Network, where you can come in here, you can check out Drip, the piggy bank, the pig pen, right, the reservoir, all these different places for making passive income. So that is how you add value to the network. This is how people manage to not just build themselves a large team in Drip, which will give them financial freedom, but also encourage more adoption of using the faucet, using the drip network and growing it. And that's what I encourage everyone to do. You know, find your niche, get into it. So that's what's adding to the, the benefits and the, the pro progression of the drip network. We don't know when we'll recover, but I do encourage people to, to hydrate more at this prices. Consider purchasing yourself more drip token. DCA in, I'm not saying drop a massive bag into it. We still have risk. The market is still pretty bad, but this is what we're dealing with uh, in the short term. Since August, we've seen a decline right from that $10 mark, and now we're hitting that just on $3 and point right there. So it is worrying. I know it's not nice, but that's what it is. Other bad news today, we've seen uh, 540 sales and only 124 buys, but we do have some good news. So here's the good news, right? We cover the bad news. I and mean, the bad news is obvious, right? The fudders are everywhere, but here is the good news. So the drip in wallets has gone down. That is one of the biggest problems that we had. We had so much drip in wallets and people were just holding that drip, expecting it to go up in price after the launch of the animal farm. But the price of drip didn't go up after lunch, maybe because of the delays, maybe because it's not time yet for it to go up. But people were impatient and they started to sell that drip. And you can see we've gone down from almost 2 million in wallets and we've hit 
1.5 million wallets. This is a steep decline. I'm hoping it hits down to at least under 1 million. Down to about here, yeah. About 1 million would be great. If it goes down to about there, that'd be great. So people aren't holding it in their wallets anymore. They are putting it into liquidity, using it in the animal farm, or they're selling it and getting the hell out of the network, right? Because you are just draining it at this point. Um, we, and you're, you're damaging the price and our progress. You can see the players in Fawcett is continuing to rise, which is nice to see. We can see, and also the most important part is that the drip tax fault now has a nice healthy 72,000 drip in the tax fault, which stops any more new drip being minted. That's great. That's super, super fantastic news. I hope it can hold like this. That is because in the animal farm, by creating drip, and BUSD token, you can deposit it in here and earn yourself another token called DOGS. So deposit in here, use the um, drip liberation contract, this one here, add a blue chip token in, get yourself drip BUSD and deposit it in here and it will add 1% of that to the tax vault on your deposit. And if you remove your drip BUSD out of here, then it will also put 2% of that into the, um, the tax vault. So that's great. So there are some signs of a slow but confident recovery from the drip network. You see here the correlation between the rise of drip BUSD and this light blue color and also the rise of the tax vault being filled. They, they work in correlation with each other. So as more people do add more drip BUSD into the animal farm, that will be recovering the price of drip. So if you want to do your part, right, how to do your part to maintain the drip price and try get back a solid price performance. Like I said, find some niche that you're good at. Are you a writer? Are you a, a captivating personality, right? Maybe start, start talking about drip, right? Writing about drip. Are you a creator? Start making art about drip. Start talking to other people in the drip network about how you could pitch in, put in your, your, your card, right? You know, it can be beneficial for you too. If you can make tools, start coding up something, you know? Here's something I'll, another thing I made. Uh, this is almost ready. You know, personally, I've made this Crypto Mischief DGen Dashboard V2. Now, this is gonna be unbelievable. It's launching before the end of Q4, before the end of December, right? Where you can take your drip faucet tracker, uh, tracks the growth, it tracks your drip profit, it uh, sees your faucet value, your total profit that you've taken in drip. It will show you your how many airdrops you've received in drip. Then it will also show your garden share, your total plants grown. And we're also just starting now to pay attention to the, on the other side, you can track your pig pen, your piggy bank, your drip garden automatically. And now the next step is getting the animal farm drip part done. So this is the next focus for it. Once this is done, we're gonna be rolling it out very soon. This is so that people can responsibly see the profit and loss they're making from their deposits into the drip network to make sure that they make the best choices available to them. Since we're on drip wiki, we can also come and we can check out this roadmap section, right? And let's see what's happening. Okay, so in 2022, what's gonna be happening next will be some more uh, attention paid to the animal farm, okay? We're gonna have auto compounding in the pig pen, governance for the pig pen, then direct purchases of fee and on-ramp. That will be for drip, I believe. Then Stargate Bridge, this will be for the animal farm. Game Five Dogs Roulette, this will also be for the animal farm. We're not gonna see major focus given back to drip until we see the new drip UI being rolled out, which I think won't be this year, to be honest. After that, we're gonna have scratchies, which will add huge, huge buy pressure to drip. Then we have drip reservoir layer two, which will give huge security and stability to the price of drip. And finally, the layer two faucet, which I don't think any of this is gonna be coming out this year. We know Forex time is a bit slow, but it gets stuff done right. And that's the most important thing. Then we will have another game, the Dogs of Fortune game coming out and lending and insurance protocols being launched as well, which is very interesting. Lending you from the value of your faucet. This is all to come in 2023, probably by the time the bull run returns, then Drip will be firing on all cylinders once again. So like I say, you can just continue to be one of the sheep which is selling out your drip bag and not compounding it enough. Or you can make a more a positive attitude change and start thinking more about compounding and waiting for that. It's delayed gratification. 
delayed gratification, basically. You know, for example, I have this Max Wallet, right? It's earning me 276 drip token every single day. Now, what I'm doing is I could be selling this, I could be putting it aside. I'm actually, I don't want to put it aside because it's useless, right? Just sitting there. I want to be able to earn gain on it. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the majority of what I'm earning here now into another drip account. I'm building that, right? It's actually my kid's one, so it's kind of fun. Nice for him. It means he's going to be maxed out pretty soon actually. So I could come here to uh, my second wallet. I've shown this wallet before. This is called the Dylan account. And Dylan's drip balance um, is now that he's, he's being fed 150 to 200 drip into this pretty much every day. You can see now he's hit up to 7,000. Um, doing some quick maths there. If I compound his account, if I add in 150 drip per day into his wallet for the next month, if only he's going to already have hit 4,500 drip, more drip into his account, plus compounding this 70, 80, 90 every day. Probably I'm going to be able to max this account out in about two to three months, actually. From there, I have another account that then I'll start moving the drip into there, waiting for the price to recover. So that's also what I'm going to do. I'm playing it smart. Why, the, why would I be taking too much profit when the price of drip is three bucks? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Be smarter. <laughs> or you're going to be sitting in the same place you were last year. Yeah. Well, I'm sitting on a yacht drinking champagne and Bloody Marys mixed together in some ridiculous concoction that's terrible for me because I'm a millionaire. You're going to be sitting in this exact same place thinking about all that drip you sold for two bucks. Think about that.